What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. Today what we're going to be discussing is how to beat any solo challenge in Madden 18. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to adjust lineup and you're going to go over to team items and you're going to want to make sure that you have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense and any 4-3 base defense. I'm just, listen, um, pretty much the, 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 mid, the mid blitz that we're going to run on defense, it's available as double A gap. It's in 3-4 also, but I run 4-3, so I run the Bengals defense. But the Buccaneers, the Buccaneers offense is definitely something that you're going to want to use because it has a lot of glitchy pass plays that the computer just can't defend. So right here, we're going to pick, a, um, pick one of the more difficult challenges just so that a lot of you that are having issues, like specifically with the gauntlet, you'll be able to understand that it's good for anything. Now, this particular challenge that I'm going to use right now, the All Madden, score three TDs in the first half, and you got to hold the deep. You can't give up more than eight points. It kind of fits perfectly because it's on the worst gaming uh, mode, which is simulation. Um, the, it, it Simulation mode, I don't know what they were doing when they made it, but I think they were doing it to try to frustrate everybody that plays the game because it's one of the worst modes in the game. Uh, arcade mode is primarily, if you want to compare it to something, it's probably um, Madden 16 and 17 combined, and they made a baby. That's pretty much what arcade mode is. So it's very easy to beat it. You just throw the ball in the air. At double coverage, quadruple coverage, quintuple coverage, doesn't matter. They're going to catch the ball. But on simulation mode, they intercept the ball. Your players get tired. Um, and there's a lot of other things that go on um, within it. So you got to be very, very careful with simulation mode. It's not the same thing. I just want to make sure you guys understand that. So primarily, I'm going to show you two offensive plays that you're going to use. And I'm going to show you a defense that you're going to use, which is mid blitz. Um, out of double A gap and um, nickel. And with those plays, you're going to be able, no matter what solo they put out, you're going to be able to beat it because this is what I do to beat all my solos. So it doesn't matter what the solo is, all right? Just follow the rules and you'll be fine. Here we go. This is what you're going to do. The first thing you're going to do with coaching adjustments, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put your block into aggressive. You don't got to do anything as far as the, the carrier to conservative because with the most recent patch, Nobody really fumbles the ball. The two plays are going to be doubles, PA buckshot, which I'm going to show you to run uh, when we're closer in the red zone, and spread wide flex, PA seams. What you're looking for specifically on this play is for your outside receivers to get separation to go deep. Right now, it looks like a cover two or you know or a cover two man. So you got to probably look for the seams in the in, in the middle. All right, depending on what the safeties do. Okay, the safeties move. So we're looking to see. Okay, he's probably not going to make that. Okay, he caught it anyway. All right, now look, listen. Don't get used to doing stuff like that. Just throwing the ball in the air in simulation. I got away with it right there, but that's probably because it's OBJ. But again, you're looking for the outside receivers or the seam. When they press down like that, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what you're looking to do. It looks like he has a beat. Okay, but okay, they're going to slide into you. It, that's been going on since Madden 16. Um, you know, you got, you got to deal with that. The sliding animation and all that stuff like that, it's very, very ridiculous that they have that, but the game has become something of animations. So even though it looked like OBJ had the step on him, he's going to still do that. All right, right here, we probably could get away with it. He, he's in man... He, it looks like they're in man-to-man, -man, right? So we're going to go ahead and change the play. Spread wide flex. We're going to go... Because you can, you can audible to it um, out of the same thing. And we should... If they're in that defense, we should be able to get... Okay, we... Okay. All right, so he's going to probably pick it. Oh, he, he swatted. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't understand what just happened right there. That was pretty ridiculous. What are they in? Was that man-to-man -man coverage or zone? Okay, cover three, sky press. Okay. So we just, we'll just leave it because we're on the other side of the 50. So this play usually works. It is raining. So sometimes EA Sports wants to make the game so realistic that they'll make the guys just drop on the ground while it's wet. But Calvin Johnson, he's an 81 speed. You can see that he burns that uh, quite easily. Um... So it doesn't really matter about the speed when I'm with the plays that I'm showing you. Run either or. Whatever works for you. Some people really like that play action buckshot play more than the other one. But it's probably because it's on simulation. It's a little bit harder to execute. But this, most of the, uh, you know, the solos that they give you are on arcade mode. So with these two plays, you're not going to have much issue. Now defensively, all you're going to do, I'm going to show you what you're going to do with coaching adjustments and what you're going to come out and do. Um, as far as being on the field, and that's going to be pretty much it. They shouldn't be able to score on you. All you have to do is watch the running back. That's it. Just watch the running back. So you're going to play ball uh, with, with the, um, the ball in the air defense. We're going to play ball, pass rush. We're going to go to aggressive, and then we're going to go down to nickel 
We're gonna go to double A gap and we're gonna select mid blitz. All right. Now the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna find the person that's on the running back, and the running back is your assignment. You're gonna sit over here in the gap, and you're just gonna chill, bro. You're just gonna chill, see what's going on, and then the computer's gonna probably take care of everything for you. All right. It's as simple as that. If they pass the ball, it's gonna be the same exact thing. Nothing is gonna change with this, bro. Nothing is going to change. All you have to do is just go where the running back is. Just follow the running back. That's pretty much all you're doing. If the running back moves, you move. Okay, that's fine. They're going to do a slant route. Your guy will be right by it because we're sending six, and it doesn't matter what they're doing. The blitz just comes in regardless. Just follow the running back. That's it. And if they do get the ball off, click on and make the tackle because what happens in Madden 18 on simulation mode, the, the CPU will just run behind the player. They'll just run right behind the player. You see how the guy just comes right in? Just follow the running back. But, again, like I was just trying to explain to you, if you don't click on and make the tackle yourself, the CPU will just run behind the player and just not make a tackle. I know it doesn't make sense, but that's not what we're here to discuss. What we're here to discuss is how to make sure you beat any solo in Madden 18. And that's pretty much with these plays. And keep in mind, even with the patches, it's the same concept. Keep, look... The game is what it is. No matter how much they patch it, it's going to be what it is for the entire year. Okay? So th these mainstay mechanics that I'm giving you and showing you right now as far as the play, the play art and all the stuff like that, what you need, um, it's going to be the same no matter what. And again, a lot of the solos that they're going to give you are going to be in, you know, in arcade mode. So it's going to be a lot easier than this. Again, we're doing the same thing. We're watching the safety. Watching this. Okay, it looks like Witten should be able to... Okay, it's going to be pick probably. Okay, yep, okay. I, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know why Witten is in the game. I probably should put somebody else in. Um, I'm going to put Ingram in. See if you got a speedier tight end because Witten is like a negative five speed. So he's going to run very slow. The only problem with Ingram is that he's going to drop the ball a lot. Um, and I don't know if you guys want to deal with that. I'll just have the slower tight end out there. But pretty much you're looking in the slot right here. You see he should be able to catch that. Okay, or not, or not. So now that we know that that play... Um, the guys are just dropping the ball even though they're wide open. There's nothing you can really do about that. It's simulation. They're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? But the whole objective is is to continue to pick the play, see if we can suck them down. Okay, right here. Nobody got sucked down, but this guy, Engram, okay, he dropped the ball again. All right, it's fourth down. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to the Bucks, the doubles, and we're going to go to the Buckshot play. We're going to go ahead and put our tight end on a slant and then we're going to try to hit either Johnson or Witten because pretty much they I don't think you see he, he, he should be open okay he's open he's open okay all right, all right okay he's not open all right it looks like Witten was open I should have probably went to Witten what what are they doing what, what, what's going on what, why is he running into his body and not making the tackle I don't even understand what happened and um just keep in mind that a lot of the things that you're seeing right now is specifically because of simulation mode you know what I'm saying? It, it, it ha it's, it's no other reasoning behind it. That This is one mode that I hate in the game. It, it's something that probably shouldn't have been in the game, but they were just like, you know what, let's just put it in the game anyway. It doesn't, it, you know, they're like, yo, whatever. Okay, get... What the... Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 bro. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, we're, we are not prepared to have this kind of stuff going on. Like, th th this right... That right there... W bro, that there... That, that was some craziness. All right, so hold on. Like I said, we'll go, our job is the running back. So we're still staying on the running back. They're probably going to run the ball again. Okay, it's play action. Um, and then the running back was all the way over there. And I didn't even go where he was at. So that's probably why he caught that. Um, it was play action and nobody came in. So I don't, yeah, I, I can't explain what just happened right there on that play. But either way, okay, that's Coleman, that's Freeman. We just got to watch, just watch the running backs. The running backs are our job. Okay, he should get sacked. All right, good. And that's pretty much what you're running. You're just running mid-blitz every play. Computer's going to do whatever they're going to do regardless. And you see how they're coming out in a lot of play action? That's usually what they do. But you're just, trying to hold, you're just trying to hold steadfast and just stay and try to follow the running back. That's pretty much what you're trying to do. The computer's going to do whatever they want, bro. So it's play action. We're gonna, what is this? Pick the ball. Pick it off. I had both feet in. Okay, EA Sports. Okay, man. Okay. Okay, EA. Yo, wh whatever you want to do, EA. Whatever. Whatever. I have both feet in, bro. That, that's Sean Taylor. Like, I, I, I don't know what to say about that. Same thing. Coming down, you find where the running back is. Make sure that you're on him. And you just follow him around, bro. Just follow him around. Right there, we get instant A gap pressure. That's, that's going to happen all the time. So this defense is already going to take the computer out the game 
for this specific scenario, all you're really trying to do is score. And again, simulation mode, probably the most ridiculous mode in the game. You know, hands down. And I'm pretty sure you guys agree with it. And that's why, again, that I'm using the most difficult mode to show it to you. Don't go out of... Yo, did he go out? Did he go out? All right, good. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the same place. And um, a lot of you guys have different things. You can come out. You can run that pitch out of another playbook, the um, halfback pitch out of tight slots. There's a lot of different ways to do it. But I like this play because usually they get sucked down and the dudes are wide open. Obviously right now, for some reason, how is he running that fast with OBJ? I, I don't understand, bro. You know what's weird about that? If I put Calvin Johnson there, Calvin Johnson beats anybody. He's 81 speed. It's like, this game is so weird. I, I, I don't, it's probably a cover three again. What? Okay, look, so we gotta wait. We can't hike the ball because he is, what? Why is he motioning? Why is that guy motioning? What, what's happening? I don't know why that guy just motioned like that. Cause I didn't motion him. Just run big man, run out of bounds when you get to like the thing there. All right, okay, you got hit stick. More than likely, uh, with the most recent patch, they're not gonna fumble the ball a lot. So you don't have to really worry about that. I just go out of bounds because it's like habit. Um, just to give you, just give you a heads up. I don't know when you might watch this video, but at this point with the patch in October, um, they don't fumble the ball. More than likely, they're gonna fix it though to bring you know fumbles back into the game because they like the flukiness. Okay, just don't. Okay, right there. I probably should have threw that. I probably should have threw that, but I, but I'm just so eager to throw the slant because I don't care. Um, in the red zone area, this is the best. These are the best plays to run. You could actually run. Uh, other, you know, when you hot route Engram onto the slant, once you see that they're pressed like that, you could hot route Moss or whoever you have also to have more slants on the field because the more slants, the better, and um, it kind of confuses the CPU. You know what I'm saying? You could do that, and then when you get here. Um, I would recommending, I, I, did I say I would recommending? I would recommend just running a slant, just running slant plays and just seeing, what, what, the, what, who is that? Is that Amari Cooper? Yo, I swear, bro, that guy is so terrible. He, bro, he tried to get up the press and then ran into him twice. Like, like, who does that? It's so stupid. Once you get into the red zone, though, don't worry about it. Just, just, um, just get some slants going. Moss should get open, but if he doesn't get open, uh, Johnson should get open. Just run slants. Run slants. He, okay, the ball hits him in the face. Yo, this game, this game right here, man. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on with this game, man. Like, I, I can't explain everything, bro. Like, this is just... You, uh, hopefully, you guys get the gist of what I'm doing. And you can just understand. Because I, I, I completely understand why a lot of you guys get so frustrated with this game. But again, it's very, very easy. But when you're recording for some reason... ES what the heck? Yo... I have never in my life experienced anything like this other than with an EA Sports game. I don't know what is... Yo, are they are they serious there? All right, let me see. Uh, wing pair. They got ace slot. They, don't, they got deuce close. All right, let's try wing. Let's try wing. Because all you're trying to do is run slants here. Usually, this is just a no-brainer. It's like automatic touchdown. But for some reason, EA Sports has it out for us there. All right, what? Don't, what the hell? Yo, I, I don't know what just happened. I don't know. That was craziness. That, that, that was craziness right there. I, I, guess the, I guess the computer just absolute lockup. You know what I'm saying? They're just absolute lockup, pretty much. Because this dude, look how Ben Roddenberg is standing there looking like a total idiot. All right. So here we go again. We could probably try to get a safety right here, though. If we're lucky. If we get some pressure instantly. Okay, it's going to... Okay, we couldn't get in on there. All right, because th this defense, like, they, you don't have to worry about the CPU scoring. So all you got to do is be able to score. And I guess because it's on all Madden, they can't run a slant. They can't get off the press. It's just so annoying and stupid. I hate this mode so much, man. But um, we should get in the backfield. Get in the backfield. Why are they making him roll? Okay, thank you. I'm about to say, bro. Like, are you gonna make him roll out? What? What? Is Look, stop, stop all that dancing, man. Stop all that dancing. So again, we're gonna come back out. We're gonna. Is that going out of bounds? We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're going to do the same exact thing. We're gonna run the same exact plays. I don't know what's going to happen because of simulation and all Madden, but again, this is the toughest solos. The toughest solos in this game are on simulation mode and all Madden. And yet still, the CPU... St is that the coach on the field? That's... that's Is that the coach? What? I thought they patched that. What, what is going on with this game? Just throw the ball to him. What? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Give us the fluke. Give us, keep going, bro. Why did they just freeze like... Bro, is that the coach? Why was the coach on the... 
Hold up. What? What? I, I could have. Everybody told me that that was patched, though. It's not patched? I guess not, bro. Dude's just running around on the field and shit. Hike the ball. What is going on? Why do we have to wait for that guy? Yeah, and he runs. He walks right through my player. Why did. And then he drops the pass. All right, so look, you guys pretty much have the gist of it. Uh, because defense is probably the hardest thing um, for you to be able to, um, for you to be able to, uh, you know, for you to be able to execute defense is probably the hardest thing. So, with the way that I'm showing you right now how to stop them on defense, that's going to probably, you know, up your game a lot more. I really, really, really hope that it, it doesn't it doesn't end like this for you guys where it's all these drops and all this stuff like that. But that's part of the game right now. That's really part of what Madden has become. Uh, excessive drops and things like that but um, with following this tutorial you are going to be able to beat any solo it doesn't really matter what's going on. okay all right good swap good swap right there okay, I threw the ball right into traffic he's on the five I can't even throw a slant right now I, I don't even understand what's going on but it's red zone offense you could feel free to run the ball but again it's it's very it, it's so it's so difficult to do it because the computer is just so wild and they cheat and I don't understand what's going on. Because I, I usually have no issues running a slant in the red zone. But I guess because I'm recording it live, EA Sports is like, yo, we're going to show this boy something. All right, he should throw the ball. Okay, he's running without the ball in his hand. Okay, so that's cool. That's cool. All right, so that's two touchdowns. We would have had our three touchdowns already in the second half. And uh, we don't have them. Okay, so it is what it is. All right, you're going to have to figure out a way to make the computer stop doing ridiculousness. But I've given you the defense to make sure that they don't score and I, I give you i give you the offense that makes sure that you're going to get into the red zone but then you can't even run a slant so I, I look bro i don't know what's going on right now but again people have said that you know they, they can't stop the computer from scoring blah 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 i don't want to run the ball because running the ball is not what i do so that's why i'm still passing it if that's probably the question that you're asking but running the ball probably would have gotten us the touchdowns um but again i just don't run the ball what, what? What? Okay, just let him go for six. I, yo, I, I don't even. This game right here. I don't, yo, catch him, Taylor. Catch him though. Catch him though. Oh, he fumbled it. Pick it up. Whatever. Run about for six too. Run about for six. This game is just so. Look, bro, we got no energy though. We got no stamina. Bro, we got no stamina though. Let's go. Yo, challenge the fumble and get it back too. Whatever. Again, you guys know the defense. You guys know the offense. They're not gonna challenge it. Why didn't they challenge it? They're going to challenge it now once I pick a play, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they're going to of you. All right, so yeah, go ahead and give them the ball back. Yeah, they have the ball. Cause, I guess because it's wet or something like that, EA Sports is making it so that it's more realistic. They, they, they actually fumble the ball because it's wet. It's a lot of things that go on in the game. You're going to say to yourself, like, why is it even happening? Um, but we're going to continue to do what we do. Same same thing. They're in the red zone. All we're doing, we're watching, we're watching the running back. And trying to figure out what's going on. And it's instant pressure. It's instant heat. So we don't really care about anything else. Um, it's complete lockup. And again, the only thing that we haven't been able to do in this video is score in the red zone. Which I'm pretty sure that you guys just picking a stretch play or whatever like that. Run the stretch. Run tosses. I'm just trying to keep it passing just to keep... Okay. Whatever, man. Just, just Yo, Matt Ryan, bro. Just do whatever you want, man. Don't get sacked, though. I, I wouldn't want you to get sacked. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just do whatever. Uh, but yeah, just it's mid-blitz. Mid blitz is the defense. I've showed you the two glitchy offensive plays that'll get you in the red zone. Feel free to run the ball, whatever like that. Watch your clock management and everything like that. Um, and just watch the computer. You see, like, with those type of plays, what I'm going to recommend you do, again, click on and dive. Because if you don't click on and dive, they'll run after each other. It's very, very stupid. I don't know why. The, yo, for the last two years of Madden, you'll just run right by the quarterback and never dive at him. I have no idea why that's a thing. I don't know, whatever. But just click on and make sure that you make sure that you dive at the um at the CPU, just to make sure that you get the tackle and everything like that. Because you don't want to, um, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to um, let them continue to run and then somebody gets open and then they throw the ball while you're sacking them. All those things happen. It's very very fluky. But I know that you guys, after watching this tutorial, will be very successful with completing any one of them because getting the ball in the red zone is a breeze with, with this uh you know with this offense the spread wide flex like even right now it's probably two men under or whatever it is oh it's cover two 
he should be open. I, I don't I don't understand. Okay, he's catching it now. Before he was dropping it. But the seams are always open. It doesn't matter. It's just that when you get into the red zone and it's all Madden and then everybody's getting pressed for three hours and it's just dumb. Nobody gets off the press. Very, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Okay, is he going to catch it? He caught that? Wow, he's catching the ball now. I, I can't believe it. But again, what was that? Two men under? What was that? It, yeah. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? It's cover two man, cover three, cover four. Doesn't matter. It's either the seam or the outside receivers are going to be open. Just throw the ball. Just press the button. You don't got to do nothing else, but just press the button. See, right here. Okay, we're screwed. What is he doing? Oh, we threw a pick. All right, cool. So that's the best way to do it. I, it it's going to happen anyway. We were too close up right there. Whenever, like I told you, whenever you get to that part of the red zone, um, run the buck shot play and then just use slants or just slant everybody. So they're going to go ahead and take a, a, you know, they're in the formation to take a knee there. Um, so that's pretty much what it is. Uh, everything that I just showed you right there, once you get to the red zone, run the ball if that makes it easy for you. But in this tutorial, I was just, you know, showing you passing and stuff like that. Very, very easy to run the ball. And once you get to the red zone against the CPU, running a stretch play, running a toss play, running deuce close, running wham, things like that. But the biggest thing was defensively. This was all Madden on the most difficult mode, and you see what we were able to do to the computer. If you have any other questions, comments, everything like that, leave it in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond, or somebody else will respond if I can't get to that comment. All right? Enjoy your day. Good luck with all your solos. See you guys and girls next time. One love.